Creepy Santa is a hot dog a sandwich. I don't quite know, you see, I don't eat hot dogs. I'm Creepy Santa, so I only eat milk and cookies. Yep, that's right. Just milk and cookies, nothing else. Yep. To Creepy Santa, why did you eat my cat? It had to be done, okay? I feel like a lot of people kind of forget about the silver collection from 2020. I really liked it, kind of preferred it to the scavenger hunt line. I think it was a really cool concept, taking notable racers from the car series and making silver versions of them. Uh, and also Tim Treadless. He's, he's not a notable character, but he's often a go-to for, for next gens for some reason, so, uh, so, so he got one too. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Definitely looks significantly better than the silver mini racer of Tim that uh, only had the front here be silver and, like, nothing else. That sucked. This is pretty good looking. Even though it was weird to have Tim be part of the series, certainly as a pretty cool variant. Anyway, guys, welcome back to 25 Days of Suggestions for day 17. That is insane. We're going to be taking a look at Silver Collection Tim Treadless. A request by collecting cars unknown X1. Thank you so much for the request, as always. And first, before we take a look at him, we got to take a look at what is in the advent calendar for today. All right, there is 17. Yesterday, I predicted it would be a cone. Let's see if I was right. No, it's another one of the uh, flows gas canisters. Very nice. Ah, we already got these before, but once again, very nice to see. I believe it's our first duplicate accessory. But yeah, nice to have, especially because we recently finished off the flows level. So it's nice to have more than one. Anyway, moving on to our old pal Tim Treadless here. Pretty interesting design as his eyes are way bigger than the original Tim. And I think they might also be a different color, if I'm not mistaken. Tim honestly looks pretty cool. Usually I could I would complain about, you know, someone like Tim being chosen to get a silver variant since they always only make one color uh, silver. But in the case of Tim, it looks pretty cool replacing the black on his diecast or what is actually supposed to be a dark red in the movie uh, with this silver. It was a really cool choice and it uh, allowed me to make him be kind of a different character in Cars Adventures when I recently used him uh, to, to, you know, give him a, a distinct look when he was no longer uh, currently racing for Nitrade. Got the Nitrade logo there on his hood. Iconic Cars sponsor. Moving on to the side. I really love the duality here of the silver and then the metallic red. Like I said, no complaints about them choosing a character that doesn't have much to be turned silver because the other color on him being metallic makes him look really really nice it's not as good looking as a lot of the other silver collection cars where they are all silver but it's a different style you know i wouldn't say actually those look better or worse they just look different because it's a different style you know just because tim's design uh again doesn't have much that you can make silver but it, it looks really good i think pissing up combustor carbon cyber and synergy there on the side 28 i love how it's in a little box not unlike the nitro weight oh i just thought that was really clever just a little box for the logo with the flame there number 28 nitrate there on the back spoiler there is a look at the back and again i just love seeing the duality of the silver and the metallic red and you also have this white line that sort of divides them number 28 there you can see it there you go nitro logo over there, there's a look at the other side, which of course is, is it different? No, it's actually, it's actually pretty much the same in terms of the side. That's a little disappointing. You guys know I love it when they make the two sides of a racer different. And uh, despite the fact that here, you know, this sort of goes down at an angle. Uh, yeah, both sides of him are pretty much identical. Bit of a bit of a letdown, but I really don't mind. Once again, very solid looking silver release. Despite being pretty lackluster when it comes to how much of him is silver, this is still a design that I think really works. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye now.